All right, here we are. Week number one of the WPF Delta Division going up against Crossbow and his Valdosta V creates Valdosta V creates. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go through his team first. Let me pull up the thing real quick. And um, if I remember, I, I hope I can memorize the terrestrializing Pokemon's on Pokemon on his team. <clears throat> anyway, so he's got a team of Golden Go Weavile Sloking. Sandy Shocks, Cleaver, Noivern, Cobalion, De Dunsparce, Whimsicott, and Muck. Um, now the six on the screen you're seeing right now uh, on the right hand side are just the six that I'm predicting. Of course he could bring any, you know, any of the 11 that he has or any of the 10 that he has. Um, but those are the ones that I'm expecting the most. So uh, as far as his Pokemon, which ones are the Terra Captains? He's got De Dunsparce and Muck. Um... The Dunsparce is Terra Normal, Flying, and Water, and Muck is going to be Poison, Steel, and Grass. So those are some things to keep in mind. Uh, obviously, I'm expecting the Dunsparce a little bit more just because of its ability to uh, kind of wall a few things. Um, but yeah, you can see my team is on the left, the six that I'm bringing. Um, and let's just go into our boxes and kind of kind of give you a rundown of the team. Uh, all right, so crossbow, we're going to check the summary here of our wonderful Spectre. All right, so... First Pokemon, obviously, got to bring the Spectre. Uh, I think it's really good, um, obviously. EV spread is going to be 40 HP, uh, 40 EVs in HP, 252 special attack, 216 speed with a timid nature. This is going to outspeed a max speed Weavile, which is the fastest thing on his team, uh, barring you know any choice Garfers or anything like that, or like a booster energy, Sandy Shocks. So that's nice, being able to outspeed everything. Um, obviously, we have the Shadow Ball, Will Wisp, Taunt, and Draining Kiss. Draining Kiss is nice uh, for the Weavile mainly, um, and then Will Wisp plus Taunt kind of makes me uh, easily not easily, but it makes me deal with helps me to deal with the Dunsparce a little bit better. Um, of course, he could Terra, which would kind of help me because then I could hit it with Shadow Ball. Uh, but if he doesn't, you know, I can Taunt it to stop it from setting up or glaring me. It can also stop him from healing, so it'll probably force a switch unless he has Shadow Ball. Um, if he's physical with like throw chop, um, like if he's a coil throw chop kind of thing, we could also just, you know, that would help, that would be better because we can will o wisp it and kind of stop it from doing that as well. Uh, obviously, Shadow Ball is nice. I mean, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he brings Cassidberry on Golden Go just so that he can stay in against me. Um, so that's something we'll definitely have to scout for. Cassidberry, if you don't know, it's, it's basically the one that is going to reduce super effective damage from coast type attacks. Um, I did see, so I've done a few mocks with this for this game. I did see it on uh, Slowking once, but I'm, I'm more so expecting Slowking to be either Heavy Duty Boots or Culberberry. Um, so, yeah. I think if I'm again, if I'm up against Slowking, I'm just going to hit it with a Shadow Ball. Like, I'm not going to uh, dance around it a little bit uh, too much. So, next up, we have the Thunderous here. 24 EVs in HP, 252 Special Attack, 232 uh, speed with a timid nature, uh, which will outspeed a max speed Cobalion and everything slower. We are rocking out with, oh, by the way, our, our Spectre's uh, leftovers, just because I like the recovery. Um, yeah, we have the Defiant ability, which is, I didn't know, I don't know what that Pokeball is. Every, everything else is just regular Pokeballs. I don't know what ball, it's It's like teal. Maybe it's a like a, a genie-specific Pokeball. I don't know. Anyway, um... <clears throat> We've got the Thunderbolt, U-Turn, Sludge Wave, and Grass Knot. I actually kind of am scared about Whimsicott. I saw it in the first mock I did, and then I don't think I saw it again, <laughs> which is interesting because I think offensively it's actually kind of scary against my team. It hits some key things pretty well, pretty hard, um, as well as well as, as its ability to, uh, you know, stun Spore and Encore and all of the with the prankster shenanigans. So that's why I have Sludge Wave on it. Grass Knot's nice just because it can deal a lot of damage to Sandy Shocks if it switches in. Um, Thunderbolt's really all the, you know, damaging move. I'm going to be clicking Thunderbolt a lot, you know, if everything goes well. Uh, U-turn's obviously nice for, you know, a little bit of uh, switch initiative. So, like, if I can't do it, KO did on Sparse, I can just U-turn on it um, on the switch in. I could also U-turn on the Sandy Shock switch in because I don't really want to click Grass Knot unless I'm really confident that thing's coming in. And everything else, I just Thunderbolt. So uh, this was initially a Cyclozar, uh, just because I wanted the Rapid Spin. Um, but it, it's not... 
I, I figured I'd just put Rapid Spin on the next Pokemon. Because uh, other than that, Cyclers are really wasn't doing much. Uh, even with knockoff, Golden Ghost switches in on it every time. So, yeah, that's the uh, Thunderous. Main, main goal is just to hit things really hard. I had a lot of problems with Slow King and Mox. So I think this will help uh, with that. Next up, we have our Samba. The Quaquaval, physically defensive, just max, max, max here. Um, we're here to pretty much just deal with a few things on his team. Weavile and Cleaver are the main ones. Can also deal with Cobalion pretty well. Um, you know, Muck, if he brings it, well, this will probably be the switch into it. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, we have Roost, Flip Turn, Rapid Spin, Knock Off. Like I said, before I had Rapid Spin on this, I had Close Combat, but I figured... There just aren't many situations in which I'm actually clicking close combat because uh, he's got a bunch of switch-ins to that. And, um, you know, even if I'm a, even if a, the Weavile stays in or the Dunsparce stays in or the Cabalion stays in, Flip Turn's not even that bad. I You know, I can get that off, you know, get a switch into something else that can kind of take on that Pokemon a little easier. Um, we have no speed in this, which kind of makes it interesting. If the Golden Goat brings a little bit of speed investment, it will outspeed us. Um, I'm expecting the cleaver to have a lot of speed, so I'm not really worried about that. Usually I go negative speed in defensive Pokemon with, you know, a U-turn or a flip turn just so that I can get, take the hit and then, um, and then, you know, get the switch initiative out, get free mo momentum. But in this case, it just doesn't make much sense because I don't want to really be staying in against Golden Go unless I know it has no speed. So obviously the knockoff's there for the Golden Go switch in, for the Slow King switch in, and then... You know, in the second time I have the uh, Quackleval in against maybe a Cleaver or a Weavile, I can flip turn that time. Um, since, like, a non-boosted knockoff isn't really going to do much, to be honest, against a Golden Go or Sloking. It's really there for the first time, so I can knock off an item. And then after that, I'll just be flip turning out, trying to get things in. Um, obviously, resisting dual stab on Weavile and Cleaver is going to be huge. I do have the Rocky Helmet, um, which is helpful. It's going to be able to kind of do some extra damage to things, uh, which which can be nice. And then Moxie over Torrent, just because, you know, if I get a random kill with Rabbit Spinner knockoff, I can get that plus one attack so that, you know, my maybe my flip turn out uh, will do a little bit extra damage. So um, that is the Quackle Ball. Definitely something that needs to come to this matchup. Hoping that it puts in a lot of work. <clears throat> so next up is our Ting Lu, uh, which is just a spit off Ting Lu. Uh, max max just like the quackleval is but except it's special and not physical we have the leftovers on it which is um you know pretty pretty standard for ting lu i feel like uh and then we have spikes heavy slam earthquake and rest this thing's mainly here to just switch into golden go and noivern um and just kind of and even slow king potentially and whimsicott even though they're super effective against me oh and the um sandy shocks so it's just really here to take any special hit even some physical hits um, and just try to hazard stack. His only uh, hazard removal is going to be the Noivern, which I failed to uh, kind of mention earlier. And I don't really think Noivern has the best matchup against me. Uh, it could come just so it has the defog option, but um, his team isn't really set up like that. I feel like he wants to have the hazards up. And, you know, because of Golden Go, you know, obviously the hazard removal uh, blocker uh, of Golden Go there. Uh, you know, he has the Stone Axe with the Cleaver. He has the hazard stack with the uh has a stack potential with the sandy shocks so and he's got stealth rocks on cabalion and the dunsparts i feel like he wants to try to hazard stack um and his only removal is noivern so which, which would get rid of his hazards so i i don't know maybe he brings it maybe he doesn't i did see a trick or a switcheroo choice scarf noivern which kind of you know is a good stop to ting lu here so that's something to keep in mind i have to scout for that but basically i'm just here to pivot into things and get a spike up you know, and, and with Quackleval's ability to knock off heavy duty boots on certain things, um, it should be it should be a good time. It should be a good time with those with those spike stack. Hoping hoping that'll happen. Rest is nice just to get up my health. Obviously, you know it's freaking things. Nickname is EQ, so you know I'm clicking Earthquake. <laughs> and then I debated Heavy Slam or Stone Edge. I decided to give it Heavy Slam because, like I said, Whimsicott was kind of giving me problems. I want to be able to hit that thing really hard on the switch in if it does do that. The one good thing is if it's not offensive, I should be able to take, you know, Moonblast fairly well um, because Wimscott isn't that strong. Uh, and me being a dark type, it can't like en encore me or or Leech Seed or do, you know, anything like that or, you know, 
stun spore. Can't do anything like that because I'm a dark type. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, hoping Tim Liu puts in uh, a lot of work uh, in the season debut debut here. Next up is Arcanine. Now this is Pokemon I'm really excited for. Um, we've got Flare Blitz, Head Smash, Agility, Extreme Speed. If you look at his team, does not have the best Arcanine switch-ins. I mean, I Flare Blitz, Golden Go. Flare Blitz, uh, Weavile. Head Smash, Sloking. Flare Blitz, Sandy Shocks. Even Head Smash to Sandy Shocks does over half um, easily. You know, I can Head Smash uh, Cleaver, Noivern, Flare Blitz. I just click on Cobalion. Uh, head Smash to Dunsparce, Wim's Got, and Muck. I mean, I, I do a lot of damage to everything. Uh, Extreme Speed's nice just for priority in case I need it against like the Weavile or, or the or the Noivern or just things that are faster than me. Just to, you know, if they're low, I can just get the chip. The uh, the quick knockout. I didn't really need anything else, so I did agility. Um, just so I could boost my speed. Just so I could outspeed things like Cobalion and, and Noivern. <clears throat> and like Cleaver, because I'm not max speed. And Golden Go. Um, it's just nice in case, I, in case I can, you know, if enough things are whittled, I can just late game sweep with this thing after an agility. That could be really nice. Uh, as far as the EVs, I have 120 HP, 252 attack four defense and 132 speed um i think i just outspeed everything after plus two with that speed investment um because it will get me up to 498 uh, at plus two and i think that's that's probably for a booster energy or choice scarf sandy shocks if i had to guess uh it's definitely for something but um yeah and i did have i had life orb and then i have leftovers and you know i i settled on hardstone because even the things, like I said, that resist Head Smash are going to take a lot of damage from that. So I figured I'll, be, I'll probably be clicking Head Smash a lot in this game. Um, and because obviously with the Rockhead ability, uh, I don't take recoil damage. So these are just very free moves. I know it has it's got like 80 accuracy, Head Smash does. So that's something to keep in mind. But I'm still going to be clicking it. You know, if I miss, I miss. But you got to go for it all, right? All right, last but not least, we have uh, our... Oh... We have our Cutta, the Veluza, shiny Veluza. I love this thing. I love this thing, it's shiny. Um, we got the Citrus Berry with the Terra Dark. I kind of experimented with a few different sets on Veluza. Um, just because, you know, it, it, it's kind of rough because Filet Away is a really cool, if you don't know, it's, a, it's Filet Away is the signature move of Veluza. It's kind of like Shell Smash, but instead of lowering your defenses, it just cuts your HP in half. Um, so that in tandem with a citrus berry is pretty cool because um, it'll only do 25% of your da of your health. Uh, unfortunately, this thing's uh, uh, bulk stats, this thing's defensive stats is not are not that good. Base 90 HP, 73 defense, and 65 special defense. So I have 52 HP investment EVs, four special defense, and then we have uh, 252 attack, 200 defense or 200 speed, and an atom nature. Um, this will outspeed uh, probably almost everything. Um, I think, let's see, 226. Yeah, I think that'll outspeed a Weavile, uh, a max speed Weavile at plus two. So that's cool. Um, and then, you know, as, as far as our moves, we have uh, obviously Flay Away, Aqua Cutter, Night Slash, and Psycho Cut. Um, all of those do some pretty good damage to him. Um, I, I thought about, you know, doing just Terra Water because Terra Water would help to continue to resist the Ice Shard for Weavile. Uh, but surprisingly, like a Jolly Weavile with no boosting item, uh, even if I Terra Dark, it's only doing like 30%. So um, the whole reason I'm Terra Dark is so that I can kind of avoid... First of all, I'm, I'm immune to the Whimsicott's Prankster moves, which is good, uh, as well as uh, kind of taking hits from Sloking better i don't think he'll scald or psychic into the into the veluza uh, i think he's gonna either thunder wave or shadow ball uh he might have he might bring shadow ball for the spectrier uh, but he might also be thunder wave so I, I feel like either cobalion or slow king those are the two pokemon that i can realistically set up on uh the, the easiest and if it's slow king i feel like i have to scout for it like with against cobalion i'm just going to tear a dark and fillet away because he's probably going to volt switch if he has it and if he doesn't have it he's probably not staying in um so that's kind of that, that's easier than slow king the problem with slow king is first of all i can thunder wave second of all i can shadow ball uh, or he might just skull trying to fish for the burn so i kind of have to scout for what it's going to do uh, let's say i flip turn with quackle ball as slow king comes in i bring in veluza i probably just double out to see what he does if he switches that's 
sorry about that. It, I <laughs> hit my mic. If he switches, that's good for us. Um, that means the next time we do it, we're just going to click fillet away. If he thunder waves, if he shadow balls, if he skulls, at least we know what he's going to do. If he chilly receptions, we know what he's going to do. So um, next time I can kind of prepare accordingly. Um, so I just figured at first Terra Water was nice because it just gives me extra damage on Aqua Cutter. But I think Terra Dark in the end is going to be the best. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sweep with it. I hope I do. Uh, but we definitely need a few things whittled before we can do that. Specifically the, the, the Dunsparce. Um, perhaps if he's Culverberry Golden Go, that could be a problem. Um, you know, we've all died to an Aqua Cutter, I think, at plus two. But it could be Sashed. So, and obviously we have to stay healthy enough to where we don't die to an Ice Shard. Because that is his only priority. I guess Shadow Sneak Muck, if you want to count that. Um, those two things are his only priority moves on his team, which is really cool. So yeah, that is the team. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this team builder. I'm going to go ahead and cut to the battle right now, and I will see you guys there. All right, here we are in the battle. Uh, as you can see, my opponent brings Golden Go, Cobalion, Sandy Shocks, Cleaver, Dead Unsparse, Whimsicott. So everything I expected except for the Weavile, which is actually interesting. Um, and instead of Weavile, he brings the uh, Sandy Shocks. Let me go ahead and... Grab that Sandy Shocks and put it in here real quick. All right, that looks good. <clears throat> so because I see Cleaver and Sandy Shocks, um, I think I'm actually gonna lead Ting Lu. So I don't want him to lead Sandy Shocks. Um, hmm. Let's see, but then again, if he does that, I'm not really too concerned, I don't think. Hmm, that's kind of tough. Um. Okay, <clears throat> or we could just lead, ah, shoot, hmm, um, let's go ahead and lead Samba anyway, because I feel like it's not as bad, um, if I lead Samba, um, and he has Sandy Shocks in there, whereas if I lead with Ting Lu as he leads Cleaver, that's, that, you know, that's more of an issue, I think, so, <clears throat> let's just hope he leads Cleaver and not Sandy Shocks. I think I have a zit on my lip. I don't know. Anyway, uh, this battle has taken a while to get into, so I'm just glad we're here, to be honest. I had the whole competition thing didn't work, and then I had someone else set it up for us, but I couldn't get into it. Anyway, got my calc set up on this screen, so uh, we are good to go. I'm going to try to be as quiet as possible here. So he does lead Sandy Shocks, unfortunately. Uh, which is okay. Here, let me turn it down just in case. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think... I don't really know what I think here. So... He's obviously going to be offensive if he's mod... I didn't see a booster energy go off. I don't know if he's going to be modest, though. Um, if he's timid, how much does Quaqua hold? It takes a shit ton. So... Here, I'm kind of thinking, um, I feel like Ting Lu's a pretty obvious switch in here. And seeing how, how he led with it, I'm expecting him to probably try to get a spike up. Um, hmm. Do I make the bold play and just rapid spin turn one? I feel like that could be pretty good. I'm gonna, or, You know what? Turn one of the first week, I'm just going to have fun. I'm just going to click rapid spin. He does spike. Whew. All right, that was that was interesting. <clears throat> so I do get the plus one here, which I believe will outspeed any Sandy Shocks. I don't think he's scarfed with spikes. Um, and again, I didn't see. Let's see. Check target. Uh, check status. Yeah, this thing. It, I mean, it, it should show up there. I, th I would think. So I got the rabbit spin off. Um, and now I can't really do much except for just flip turn. Uh, again, I should outspeed this, right? Ooh, I actually don't if he's max speed. <laughs> that sucks. Uh, that's very annoying. Hmm. Do I still risk taking this hit? I don't think I can risk that. Oh, boy. Okay. I could go into Ting Lu here. I feel like he's probably max speed, right? 
or how much speed does he need? Let me check. Let me check my team. If he wants enough speed for Fezendipity, he's got to be pretty close to max speed. So I'm going to go ahead and swap. I ran out of time. Dude, the switch into Tinglu would have been perfect there. I literally ran out of time. I can't I can't believe that, dude. Oh my goodness. That's such a momentum killer. Alright, I gotta be on my I gotta be on my game here. <laughs> so stupid. <clears throat> so stupid. I could have well no, because if I flip turn I well no I outsped him. So I could have flip turned. So that's that's good. Now we know. Dumbass shit. And look what I'm such a fool. Okay, so I don't know what he's gonna click here. It could be a multitude of things. Um, so let me go ahead and switch. Uh, I kind of want to go straight into EQ here, uh, if I'm being honest. That's what we're going to do. Uh, because if he is offensive, then that's good to know. There is, really isn't much of a switch in if it is offensive. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, so if he's max special attack, timid, no boosting item, or if he's pixie plate, Moonboss still isn't doing a terrible amount. So. Uh, let's see what he goes for. Obviously, we are immune to any prankster, uh, any status moves he goes for here. Uh, as long as he has prankster and not any of the other abilities Wimpscott gets. Um, so, yeah, let's actually pull up a calculator and see how much it does here. Vessel of Ruin. So, Grass Knot's going to go off. That's going to do a lot, isn't it? Okay, 513 down to 345. Thirty-two point seven percent. That's a good. That's a good uh, thing that he has on the uh, on this set. Okay, so it did how much? Thirty-two point seven. Um, doesn't appear that he has that much investment, but he ha he has a little bit. He has at least some. Uh, with the leftovers, I think I'm comfortable just getting a spike up here. Actually, um, so he's gonna U-turn. Makes sense. Glad I didn't get. Um, Impatient and heavy slam there. Um, so we're gonna get a spike up here. Hi. Yeah, you're not going. You're not going in there. That door's locked for the night. Yeah, it's like almost 1:30 a.m. Uh, for both of us. So uh, also shout out to Crossbow <clears throat> for staying up and uh, hanging with me with all this, with all these shenanigans. Um, so let's see what he goes into. Uh, could be sloking. Could be. Hmm. I don't know what else. Maybe maybe the Dunsparce, but I don't really know. I'm fine with that, to be honest. I think. I think. Whew! Gonna shake off these nerves. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I'm pretty. I got the. I got the jitters. Got the. The Wi-Fi battle jitters. Pride. Gonna be that cleaver. Oh boy. So I get a spike up here. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough here, man. Because it, because of that full switch damage, I can't switch into Quo Quo all here. <clears throat> uh, in fact, I don't really know what Quo Quo all can do for me at this point, unfortunately. That is just kind of a fact of the matter. Um. He could X scissor here, but I'm I'm expecting a stone axe. Um, cleaver, if he's jolly, if he has no bulk investment, a heavy slam is still not going to knock him out. Um, so unfortunately, I think I uh, just uh, I see. I don't see myself roosting up on anything unless maybe Sloking doesn't have psychic. I could maybe roost up on that. Uh, but the Dunsparce is just going to glare me, um, which sucks. So I think I'm just going to make the switch into Samba here and hope that I can live at least one hit here, probably just one. We can try to scout out what this thing is going to do here or what kind of set it is. It's going to X Scissor. Okay, that's not that bad for me, actually. That's still kind of bad. Um, 
37 or 373. Okay, he did 24% to me. Uh, X Scissor. It's about in the range that he's jolly with no boosting item. Um, so he will knock me out here with a Stone Axe, I believe. Um, which is a little bit unfortunate. Unfortunately, there, uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Just made an early game. Oh, if he had missed. Bro, if he had missed, that would have made up for it, for sure. Damn, that's rough. All right. And unfortunately, I didn't bring boots on things. Um, but <laughs> that's how it works. That's how it works. That's how it works. So he's not scarfed. So that's good to know. Um, I could go into Mythic and just try to agility and try to hit things hard. But I don't think that's very smart of me, to be honest. I think <clears throat> Tenant is a pretty good switch in here. Because Sandy Shocks is going to be the obvious um, answer to that, uh, I think. Thunderbolt's obviously going to knock this thing out. Grass Knight, Grass Knot may actually also knock it out because of the Rocky Helmet damage. Um, it's going to be close. Um, it, it may be Focus Sash. Does Spectre knock it out here? Uh, Spectre should knock it out as well if it doesn't have any bulk, that is. Um, but that's a little bit risky. Um, you know, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go into Spectre here. I'm going to make this play here. Because <clears throat> if it's Jolly, it probably has a lot of speed investment. A Rocky Helmet, I believe, is 16 to 17% every both turns. So that would be 32. Break down to about 68%. And the minimum I'm seeing with no bulk investment is 67.2 percent so i'm going to shadow ball with the voice crack he's going to go into dunsparce i considered willow wisping but i figured it, i'd just play it safe so here's the dunsparce he is going to have probably the leftovers on this um so we're going to shadow ball do nothing oh i forgot to forgot to do the the uh the quick thing here watch this boom wrong pokemon which which one is here all right, let's go through the line here. Oh, did I do it? Is it Uno Reverso? See, I'm, I'm too caught up in trying to do... Okay, there we go. Boom. That doesn't look that good. Anyway, um, I think I'm just going to taunt here. I don't want to risk getting glared. Uh, I think glare is pretty obvious here. But he could also try to set up. So I'm not too sure uh, what the plan is with this thing. So he's going to Toxic. All right. Uh, I'll take that. <clears throat> I'll take that for sure. Now we're going to try to land a Will-O-Wisp. Nothing on his team is immune to that, except for the Golden Go, of course, because it's a uh, wonderful, beautiful ability, good, good as gold. Uh, he could switch into that, predicting that. Um, but we'll just have to see. Hmm. Okay. Stealth Hawks are up to stay for him, man, which is unfortunate for me, but <clears throat> I also have a spike on his side of the field, which is pretty cool. So let's see. Let's see here. Let us see. What he wants to do. There's the switch out. Okay. Um... Pride. Okay, this is the Pokemon we've seen. It's going to be the Cleaver. Okay, we connect on the Will-O-Wisp. Uh, that's awesome. So, I think it's definitely Rage, unless it's Assault Vest. But even if it is Assault Vest, um, because it's burned now, I do. I will be able to take this hit. So, not too concerned about that, I don't think. Uh, I guess he was scouting to see what I was going to do there. Um, so, let's just Shadow Ball here. Uh, he's going to double. Okay. Probably go back into the Dunsparce here. There's the Dunsparce. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and taunt again. Because um, there's no reason not to. <clears throat> I guess he could technically power point stall if he wants to do that. But he's also kind of taking damage with the Cleaver every turn. So um, he's going to stay in here. So he might just straight up attack me here. Um, so we'll keep that in mind. I don't think he'll just click Toxic again. Yeah, there's the Shadow Ball. Okay. 
So he has a Shadow Ball here. He can do a lot of damage to me. Um, did done sparse. I just I just got some HP back. What, I was at two and nine, right? Something like that. Cat's going crazy. Uh, three fifty one minus two oh nine. Okay, so did about forty percent. That's a lot of damage. So he's got some investment for sure. Um, so. <clears throat> I think at this point, I should probably just go into EQ and try to spike. Um, I think that's probably the move. I don't think he's just going to boom burst. I mean, maybe he does. Maybe he calls that good on him if he does that. Um, but I think we're just going to go into EQ here. I think that is the move. Uh, and hope that he just goes for Shadow Ball. That's the hope, right? Uh, and then we can try to get a spike up. So just Shadow Ball again. Try to keep in mind he could um, potentially spit F drop. Okay, no spit F drop. Uh, that's what I was kind of concerned about there. So let's get another spike up. Um, it's really nice to have that cleaver burned. I think that's actually going to be helpful. Um, and since that... Since it's Spike Volt Switch, I doubt that the Sandy Shocks is going to be Iron Defense Body Press. I don't think that's the set he's going to bring there. Um, oh boy. But the rocks are going to be up, which just sucks. Maybe he has Defog on Cleaver. Uh, but, you know, that would kind of help me, to be honest, just to get rid of those rocks on my side of the field. Because i got a Thunderous and Arcanine, and neither of them have boots. So their switchings are definitely going to be limited. Uh, which is not fun. So, uh, so far we've seen Toxic and Shadow Ball. Uh, Roost is probably a, a, you know, a move this thing has. I should have predicted that. Obviously, the taunt is so obvious there. I should have just gone for the burn to get the, to get the status on him. That would have been helpful. Okay, so this thing's going to come back out. Uh, we're going to get a spike up. Now, what does Cleaver do to Ting Lu here? X scissor, but you're burned, so we'll put you in minus two. Yeah, you're doing about a third to me. Um, I wonder if I could take two. Uh, that is my wonder, truly. I think I could take two. I feel kind of confident that I could take two. Um, but do I even risk that? Obviously, he's gonna, well, he might U-turn. He might U-turn here. Which is why I don't really want to switch. I don't think he stone axes him. There's any way he does that. Um, so I kind of just want to spike, kind of want to try to try to take advantage of this. Like at this point, I feel like I'm kind of down uh, in the game. Um, and if he does defog, that's, that's fine with me. But, uh, I think I'm just going to spike and hope that I can live two X scissors. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. He's going to X scissor. Okay. That looks like I can take another one with the leftovers and rest up. Which could be so, so good for me. Yeah, so I'm gonna rest here, get my health back up. Um, obviously no Chesto Berry, but that's okay, to be honest. Uh, I have three spikes up now, rest goes off. Boring a crit here, uh, I should be good. Um, and then the turn following, I'm probably gonna try to switch into Thunderous, get some offensive momentum going. All right, we lived that. Thankfully, no crit. And um, I think at this point, um, yeah, like I said, just probably Thunderous. I think Thunderous is the play there. Because uh, Spectre is kind of low right now with the rocks up. I don't really want to, um, you know, bring that in and kind of have those kinds of problems. But I wonder what Spectre's use is here if the Dunspar sets Shadow Ball. Um, I'm not too sure of its, of its import here. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's go into Thunderous, because on the off chance he does U-turn, it's better for me to have Thunders and Inspector here, I think. 
because with Spectre he can just bring into Dunsparce. Um, and the Dunsparce is uh, is tough to deal with, whereas if I bring in, if he U-turns here and I bring in Thunder, okay, so he's going to switch as well. Um, so into what? Beauty. Is that Whimsicott? It is Whimsicott. So I do have a Sludge Wave here. Um, do I go for it? I'm not sure if that's the move. Um, he definitely knows that I have access to it. Um, but if he just clicks Moonblast here, it might put me in range. Well, no, because he has, he has some investment. Um, so like a Pixie Plate, Whimsicott, might put me, unfortunately, in range of Stealth Rocks, knocking me out next turn. Oh, I misclicked. I clicked Thunderbolt. Second mistake. Mistake number two. Mistake numero dos. Damn. Well, uh, I hope he just clicks U-turn or he hard switches. He's got to think I have Sludge Wave, right? I was going to click Sludge Wave or U-turn. I wasn't inter entirely sure. Probably. I don't know. He's got to think I have U-turn, right? Or I mean Sludge Wave. <laughs> yes, he switches. Now, does he go Sandy Shocks? No, this is the Cleaver. Okay, Cleaver's down. All right. I would have died to two Sludge Waves anyway. Uh, but it is, at least this point, he knows I'm not. Or he doesn't know I'm Specs, which is good. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So five to five here. And at this point, I definitely want to try to get Veluza in on the Dedun's on the Dedun Sparse. Because the Dedun Sparse is either gonna toxic or it's gonna shadow ball. I don't think it has glare if it has toxic. Um, Cause you have to expect it has roost, right? So if it toxics me, that's not the end of the world. Um, because I do have I mean I'm still gonna get a few hits off at the least. Um, Whereas if it Shadow Balls me, that's even better because I can tear Dark that turn uh, and take the Shadow Ball, you know, really well. So and at that point, I'm in a good spot to just do some big damage to things. So yeah, let's see what he goes into. I'm I'm assuming the Thunderbolt surprised him there. Um, don't think it mattered in the long run because again, if I click Sludge Wave there, I'm fine. If I click E-Turn, I'm probably in a better spot. Maybe I don't know. All right, um, this thing's in here and it's gonna try to spike stack on me, which is not fun. Oh my God, this thing is crazy. Damn cat going crazy. Um, yeah, that's really not fun, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Freaking let the cat in, Jesus. So I think a spike is coming here. Um, if I wasn't Specs, I'd just grass out this thing. <laughs> but that's how it goes, you know. Um, I kind of need to force it to do something. Um, so let me bring in Spectre. I believe, I believe the Shadow Ball will knock it out, right? Maybe. Maybe. No, it won't. Okay. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah, let's bring in Spectre. Can't bring in Tinglu because it's just going to sit there and get stacked up on. So, all right, get your spike up and we'll go from there. Volt switch, wow. Okay, not entirely upset about that. Um, kind of glad I brought in Spectre here because if I bring in Ting Lu there to absorb the volt switch, uh, then he's definitely gonna set up a spike. Um, unless he thinks my last move is sleep talk. Then he might switch, fearing the Earthquake. Um, but I don't have Sleep Talk, so... <laughs> right now, Ting Lu is kind of useless. Just a little bit. A little bit useless. Um, Foolish is going to be the Dedon Sparse, yeah. So, uh, we're kind of in that same spot where... Uh, I, I think I just died to a Shadow Ball now. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, good news is, I can burn this thing. So... Hmm, so he's gonna be at about 80%. As long as I connect with a burn. And he might over predict and predict my uh, Tinglu to come in. At this point, I don't really see the point in doing that. 
Um, this Vuz is not getting any weaker at this point. So, I mean, this Dedun Sparse is not getting any weaker. So Terra Night Slash, if he's Spidef, I should be able to deal with. Um, I should be able to knock this thing out. So uh, we're going to go ahead and Will-O-Wisp. Well, you know what? Maybe I should have taunted so that he can't Toxic me next turn with, uh, with this thing. Um, yeah, that might have been smarter. That might have been smarter. Um, but he might just end up Boom Bursting me here. If he's like 100, does Boom Burst knock me out? Oh wait, hold on. Did like 40%? Okay, so I don't know if he has that much investment, to be honest. He might have just gotten a high roll with the first Shadow Ball. So does Veluza die to a Boom Burst? It's not, it sh shouldn't die to a Boom Burst. He'd need a pretty high roll. He would need a pretty high roll. Uh, okay. So let's just go for it, I guess. <laughs> sure. All right, Veluza, do your thing. Do your thing. So we're gonna tear dark and fillet away. Let me make sure I can tear a dark. <laughs> that would be a horrible way to lose. I had to double check. Yeah, I'm tear dark. All right. So he can either Boom Burst, Toxic, or Shadow Ball. Best case scenario is he Shadow Balls, but I think he's just gonna Boom Burst to get the guaranteed damage. Um, it actually does more than Shadow Ball, I just realized. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't have it. I think he would have clicked it by now if he did have it, if I'm being honest. Okay, here we go. Here we go, come on Kutta. He's got no priority on his team. Oof. So it would be pretty cool to get a get a little little dubski here, a little dubski here. Oh my god, that animation goes crazy. Okay, there we go. Pop that citrus, and we're gonna be up at two oh nine. He's gonna Shadow Ball, that's perfect for us. That is perfect for us. So that does nothing. He gets the Spidef draw. I don't know if that matters, to be honest. I don't even know if he's Spidef. He may just be Fizz Def because he doesn't really need that bulk against the Spectre. But he might, this thing might be his Thunder Switch. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we click the Night Slash here. Um, you're at 209. 209 to 174 is like nothing. Okay, let's check this damage. Check this damage right here. Boom. Oh. Oh. He's only moving Shadow Ball. That's crazy. Yo, that's actually nuts. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Another Spidef drop. I don't really care. Um, and since I'm a Dark type, he can't affect me with Prankster with the Whimsicott. So I think we're going to get a lot of kills here with. Uh, unless he has Colber. He could have Colber on something. Um, do I Night Slash here? I think I do. Um, let me Psycho Cut just in case he brings in Whimsicott. Let me do that. Okay. That's crazy. I would have really expected Boom Burst. I wonder what his last move is then. Huh. Okay. Um, come on. Give Valooza the, the damn kill. <laughs> See what he does. Because that's something I noticed in, in prep, like I said, was that Weavile was his own, only uh, real form of priority. Uh, and he hasn't terra yet, also. So. Alright. Uh, the, Dun the Dunsparce is down. Vuz is going to get a kill there. Uh, because I'm Terra Dark, he cannot. Uh, Whimscott will not affect me uh, with that Prankster. So that's cool. And I have all the spikes up. So. He doesn't have a Colbert Berry, I, we, we could sweep, but I have a feeling one of those two Pokemon are going to have a Colbert Berry. Uh, and we will know, we could know immediately if, they, if nothing takes hazard damage, um, we'll know that it's it's going to be heavy duty boots. Justice. Uh, this is going to be. I didn't even realize he has Cobalt. Wait, what the hell? He has Cobalion and not Sloking. I'm so dumb. <laughs> 
What the hell? I thought he had sloking this whole time. Oh, snap. Okay. Okay. Um, Alright, let's uh, let's move Cobalion in here. Get this big guy in here. That's crazy. Look how dumb I look. Alright. Um, well, obviously I can't switch, so I'm just going to click Aqua Cutter. They all have a high crit ratio. Um, how much is this doing to Cobalion? If he has no investment... Um, and I'm plus two. It could do a lot. Yeah, it could kill if he has no investment, but I, I doubt he has no investment. You know, let's just click Aqua Cutter, because it's a cool move. I haven't seen the animation for it, so... Yeah, he has a little bit of investment there. He's going to body press, okay. Alright, so Veluza goes down. Did some cool damage, though. Did some cool stuff. Alright. <clears throat> Okay. The question is, can I kill this thing with a grass knot? Um, for he has leftovers as well. Uh, oh sh, dude! Grass knot does crazy damage against this thing. <laughs> That's nuts. Um, I could do that. Uh, I could also. Oh wait, what else is dead? My spectre. And now the vents decide to come on. Thank you, thank you, vents. I don't know why I didn't do this right. The first time. Okay. Um, I could go into Arcanine, but that's kind of dumb. <laughs> so we're going to go into Tenant. And I believe we're going to Grass Knot here. So I can't U-turn. U-turn's not going to kill this. I can either Thunderbolt or Grass Knot. Oh, Grass Knot at least does damage to everything. Right, so. Uh, and Grass Knot's apparently doing a crazy amount to this. Uh, I don't exactly know why. Uh, but I am confident that it knocks it out. So we're going to click that. All right. Down goes Justice. And at least this helps to where he can't bring in Sandy Shocks. Um, whereas if I click Thunderbolt, he, Sandy Shocks is a free switch in for him. So Cabalion is down. <clears throat> now he probably brings in Golden Go. And maybe wins. Not entirely sure how this plays out. Um, damn, I was this close to sweeping. This close, bro. Beauty comes out, okay. He's got boots. Probably should have realized that earlier. Um, could bring an EQ here. I think that's probably a good play. I don't want to get it too weakened, though. Let's see, I don't, he doesn't click a grass type move here though. He definitely doesn't. But he could, ta he could still have a stun spore. Hmm. What do I think this thing has? It's got grass knot, probably has moonblast. Probably does some shenanigans. I, I doubt grass knot does anything to this. Um, I could just click it and do some damage. Because I don't really need this thing. I, I just need to get Arcanine in to where it'll do something. Um, and this is probably the only Pokemon I can agility up on. And I kind of need that agility. So I'm going to Grass Knot. I'm going to stay in here. He switches. Okay, he's going to U-turn. Um, now, he might bring in that Sandy Shocks, expecting me to Sludge Wave. Um, I don't think he's going to do that, but he may. So we'll see here. The, the bitch of it is that Arcanine is going to take 25% when he comes in. Glad I didn't bring it in there, though, because then it would have been kind of a tough situation, for sure. Um, actually, how how much damage does <clears throat> the shocks have on it after spikes a few times? I don't know how much damage it has on it. That might, that might come into play here. Um, I would love him to bring it in here so it just dies. <laughs> you know. As far as Arcanine, though, it depends on the Golden Goose speed investment. I don't know how much it's going to have. Obviously, I'm not going to outspeed it if it's got... If it's max speed. Uh, I'm at 249. Uh, it's got to be pretty speedy. Okay, history. Sandy Shocks is down. Oh, it's got a... It's got a Rindo? Oh, it's got a Citrus Berry. Okay, I was about to say. 
Rindo is kind of crazy. All right, so Sandy Shocks is down. That's kind of huge. Um, I'm I'm kind of surprised by that, but it, it, I guess it all depends on the Golden Go set. I don't know what the Golden Go wants to do here. I guess we'll find out. He's he's gonna bring it in here, and I'm just gonna bring in Ting Lu. Um, <clears throat> wow, he brings this in again. Okay, okay. Since this thing outspeeds me, I have really no reason to keep this uh, thunders around. I don't think. Um, does have U-turn. Um, I'm wondering if that last move is encore. That's kind of the issue I'm I'm running into right now. Because if I agility in front of the Whimsicott and it has Encore, uh, I'm just a little bit screwed. Unless a Golden Goat can kill me in one hit. I don't know if it can. Make it rain will probably knock me out. Yeah. Okay, um, we're going to Grass Knot again. It's going to Moonblast this time. Doesn't knock me out, which is kind of cool. But, um, yeah, we're not here for damage. <laughs> Quite honestly. Well, we're just here to get the free switch into the Arcanine. So, uh, Thunders is probably going to go down here. He could U-turn. That's actually a play I didn't think about. Um, could U-turn. So we will have to see what he does. He does U-turn. Okay. All right. So now we've got a, a decision to make. Hmm. So Golden Go with max special attack has a... If I was in boots, this wouldn't be a problem. He does get hit by the spikes. Um, has a 75% chance, or has a 31% chance to knock me out. If he's max special attack, uh, no no modest. If he's timid, I mean, that, that, that helps. But if he's timid, he'll outspeed me. If I go to Arcanine right now and I outspeed him, we're golden. Uh, the issue is I don't know if I'll outspeed him. If he's, he's He got hurt by the spikes, so he could be choice scarf modest. And if he's choice scarf modest, we got a big problem on our hands. Um, the issue is bringing Ting Lu is he could just bring in Whimsicott again. Um, and that would be annoying. But that's not really the worst thing in the world, I don't think. I feel like Ting Lu has to come in here. But if he nasty plots up, that's bad. that's rough. Then I have to basically hope he misses focus plus. I think our play is Arcanine, unfortunately. This is a rough play. It's a rough spot to be in. Again, if I had boots, it would be a totally different story. If he's mod modest max special attack, he's got an 81% chance to knock me out. So uh, we're going to, uh, I, guess, I guess we can play and click agility, right? No, because if I outspeed, I could lose if he thunder waves. So we're going to flare blitz. Choice scarf would make a lot of sense because I have a spectrier on my team. Um, he could be Leftovers, he could be Shaka, he could be Kasib, he could be Culber. So, we will just have to see. I outspeed, he's Akka! I was just about to say, I don't think he's Akka. That's crazy. Oh. Wow. I get a burn. I get a burn. Now I'm assuming, oh, he hexes. Oh, so he must be Thunderwave then? Wow, this has been a crazy game, I'm not gonna lie. Oh boy, this has been a crazy game. What just happened? I'm gonna Flare Blitz again. Um, we got to outspeed him. <laughs> I was literally about to say, I'd, like I like I was naming I was naming them off. I said Shaka, Colbert, Kasib. I did not expect Aka, not in the slightest. But I'm surprised if he's Hex, He's definitely Thunder Wave. I don't know why he wouldn't click Thunder Wave there. Uh, so we're going to Flare Blitz here. Uh, he's going to Grass Knot. Does this knock us out? 
It doesn't. We live on six. And Arcanine's gonna take it. Boom. We got week one. Oh my goodness. What a game. What a freaking battle, man. Um, early game adversity there with the stupid Quackle Ball stuff. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen again. I'm not gonna run out on time. That was crazy. I thought I got it off too, but uh, whatever. We win. We very close. Very close to going, going south there, um, at the end there. I don't know how it plays out with Tinglu, um, but damn, what a game! What a game! We get the 2-0 victory. Arcanine came in clutch. Belusa did its job. Uh, Thunderous did some cool things. Very weird as far as like me not necessarily making the right play, but it working out. Uh, or maybe I do make the right play, but it doesn't work out. So, you know, I, I'm keen on hearing my uh, my opponent's thoughts after this. So uh, that's going to be it for me. Um, I will see you guys uh, in week two of the WPF.